Hi, happy 4th of July everyone. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Don't Let Me Go by J.H. Trumbull. And uh, this book is a male romance, contemporary setting. And um, this was a really rough read for me. Um, I got, someone recommended it to me and asked for me to do a review. And so of course I was like, okay. Because I was the first and I was excited, but I I didn't know what would come. I didn't. If I'd have known, maybe I wouldn't have read this. This was um. I can't give this a rating really because it was um really hard to read. It was kind of like ripping open scars for me, open old wounds, and it made me dwell on my past and my experiences in life this far. And uh, the story is about Nate and Adam. And they're in high school when they meet. Uh, I think Nate, who is the protagonist, the main character, it's told in the first person uh, from Nate's point of view. And he is dating Adam and they're both they both kind of come out together in high school, and Adam is a year um, older, so he's graduated by the time Nate's a... Anyway, um, semantics. He very much loves Adam, very much, um, but Nate is what I have come to learn is called a toxic person. It's a person who, by one reason or another, somehow ended up being quite poisonous in their presence and how they live and they seem to poison other people and hurt them in ways that they can't really help all the time but the, the biggest thing about the story is that Nate by the end Nate does what he can to make things right and fix what he has broken and I think that's really, that that really was like, that really hit me really hard because, you know, as I said, I've had these experiences and I am willing to admit that there were relationships that I myself was the toxic person about, um, you know, in the relationship. I was the poisonous one and that is one of the scars that this book reopened and it made me remember that time and I hope to never ever be that person again or relive that experience and um, it just really got you thinking and I think that's why this book was a very good recommendation I really appreciate the recommendation because it is a book that gets you thinking it makes you reflect and recall what what you may have been, or because I think I think all of us have been that person, that toxic influence on someone else's life, even if you don't mean to. It's just how you are. Uh, Nate was a very damaged character, very abused, very hurt by people, and Adam did everything that he could, everything that he could in his power to to um to be there for Nate, and, um, the whole story, Nate is terrified that Adam is going to let him go, he's going to leave him, he's going to drop him, and that's why, you know, it's called Don't Let Me Go, because Nate has such a fear of being dropped and being abandoned that he can't really, like, he, he can't seem to understand that Oh, God, I don't even know. I would definitely recommend this, um, but it's not exactly, um, it's not exactly a nice read. Like, I didn't feel good, because it made me remember my past and things like that, and there was not a good time in my life, and I don't want to remember it. It will be a part of me forever, yeah, but I didn't want to have to remember that. So, um, Don't Let Me Go by J.H. Trumbull was a great book, one I can't exactly give a rating to, but I'd definitely give it, if I had to, a 10 out of 10, just for the content that it provides and the fact that it, it does get you thinking. Um, 
but for me personally, it was it was more than that. It was definitely a a, a book that's going to stay with me for a while. So.